So I've done a couple videos about what rent is like in LA and today we're increasing the budget a little bit to $5,000 a month. So $5,000 is definitely enough to get you a nice place in literally any part of LA. I mean, really any part of the US. So we're gonna look at one place in East LA and one place in West LA. And you guys comment down below which you like better. So first we're going to venture over to Hollywood. A lot of people split LA in half and are either really east side people or west side people. And if you didn't know, this is where Hollywood lands on a map, so it really is more of the east side. On average, rent prices are actually a bit less on the east side. The average for one bedroom in West LA was $2,250, while in Hollywood it was just $1,850 which is still a lot compared to most places in the US, but just be glad we're not looking at San Francisco because those prices be crazy, you guys. Okay, let's take a look at our first apartment. The first complex we're looking at is actually a brand new luxury apartment complex right in Hollywood. So it's very walkable, tons of restaurants, bars, coffee shops around. So this complex is called the Line Lofts and let's take a look inside. So this unit we are looking at is a little above 5,000. It's actually closer to 6,000, but I'm still including it in this video since it's pretty close. Welcome to the line loft. So, so how big is this unit? So this is a two bedroom, two bath plus loft penthouse. It's wow. 1275 square feet, featuring this beautiful open kitchen with stainless steel appliances. I really love that and has beautiful lighting. Here's one of the bathrooms that's also for one of your guests. This is a dining area, and then here we have a cozy little, you know, nook for living room with some nice windows. Some areas are 18 foot ceilings, which is awesome. I That's love that. For it, like the, an apartment. Yeah, like the volume just really helps you feel, yeah. like, you know, like you have a big place. Here's the first bedroom. It has really high ceilings since it is a penthouse unit, and it also has a view of the Hollywood sign, which is pretty cool. And then it has an awesome closet, huge yeah. size. You can Boxing. also store stuff. Yeah. And then what's really great is that the bedrooms are split and they don't share any walls. So if this person's watching TV and this person wants to sleep, no problem. The living area is really open, which is very common in these luxury apartments. I've lived in one like this and it's really nice to have the kitchen open to the main living space. What's a little different about this one is the balcony. Since it comes in a bit, it actually lets in more light from the side. So it feels brighter than most apartments. And there is an in-unit washer and dryer, which is great to have. And then here's the master. We're gonna pass by this awesome uh, patio. This is a master, a little more um, lighting in here too. So you can really see the patio is letting in a ton of light into this room, which is awesome. And it has an ensuite bathroom as well as a walk-in closet, which is always appreciated. <laughs> Pretty big walk-in closet in this unit with some built-in storage, which is very nice. Really the nice. finishes all feel very nice for an apartment. Mm -hmm. Like they feel like yeah. Cheap out. No, it's place. high end. Yeah, and it's a penthouse, so you don't have anyone above you, and yeah. so you have privacy, and it's quiet. It's, it's really clean and tasteful, I think. You know. Yeah. Um, so then here we have the loft upstairs, which is a great, you know, could be like a study or an office. Could just also be like a hangout area. Yeah. You know. It's a good amount of space up here. Great space. This is an awesome office. Or really just hang out, watch you know a fight or basketball game. So they have it furnished and unfurnished. So yeah. So this unit is available furnished for sixty four fifty a month, and then unfurnished for fifty nine hundred, which I think is a great deal. Cool. And this neighborhood is just you know really going up in value. There's so many restaurants and professionals, lots of studios and you know offices are around here. So it's just young professionals and it's a very walkable area too. So this apartment complex also has a ton of amenities. There's a few different lounge areas. This is the one on the penthouse level of the apartment complex and it's a common area for people to meet, hang out, get work done. There's sometimes events here. Heading downstairs by the pool area is another common area and these are pretty much open for anyone in the complex to use and it has a little lofted area as well. I really love the design of this space. It's kind of mid-century modern meets the beach. It just feels really nice to be in. And of course, it being Los Angeles, there is a pool here. It's actually a pretty big pool. You could swim laps in this for sure. And there is a hot tub and some sitting areas as well. This is the lobby of the building. Really cool design in here. And like a lot of apartment complexes, there's a coffee machine downstairs that you can use. I would probably use this a little too much. 
There's also a pretty nice little gym in here. While it's not a huge gym, it's got a good amount of equipment. And apartment complexes, a lot of people just have their own gym membership, so you'll find, like, they're pretty empty anyway, so you don't need a huge gym. And if you actually end up moving to the Lion Lofts, if anyone's actually like looking to move to LA for real, if you tell them that you found it through me, they have a referral program, I guess, where you'll get $500 off your first month. So you might as well just tell them that. So if anyone ends up doing that, DM me or email me and I can give you more info. This is probably just a very small percentage of the people actually watching, but just thought it would be a nice little tip for anyone who actually is moving. You might as well save a bit of that money. So. Okay, let's move on to the next place. So that is our east side apartment. Now we're gonna head over to the west side to a little neighborhood called Westwood. Westwood is a little more random, I'm not gonna lie. It's basically known for one thing and that's UCLA. But I've kind of randomly gone here quite a few times and it's a really cute neighborhood. So the apartment complex we're looking at here is called The Legacy at Westwood. At first glance, it seems very bougie and really cool, so let's take a look inside. So we're looking at a two-bedroom, two-bathroom unit for $4,916, so just about $5,000. This is pretty standard of what you're going to get in this area. And looking at this, this is just such a standard normal apartment for LA. Like, I've seen so many apartments like this. It opens up to a kitchen and a little living area and it has two decent sized bedrooms. Like that's basically it. So walking over, here's the master bedroom. It's pretty big, it extends over a bit actually. It's kind of dark in this unit, but I'm sure they have lots of units that aren't this dark. And then heading over, there's an ensuite bathroom. Pretty big bathroom actually, it has two sinks. The ceiling is kind of weird, <laughs> not gonna lie. Heading back over into the main area, there's some built-in storage, which is really cool. This is the second bedroom. It's actually a bit brighter. It's not quite as big, but still pretty big. I think most people would be perfectly happy with this size bedroom. And across the way is a bathroom that is kind of shared with the main living space. And then there's a small balcony in this unit, which has actually a pretty cool view. And here's another unit in the same building. This one is pretty similar, but it has a slight difference. The model unit that they showed us is on the bottom floor, so it's super dark in here. I just would not ever recommend living in a place this dark, especially if you work from home. It feels like you live in a cave. But here is one of the bedrooms. Again, decent sized. I'd probably say it's 14 by 12 feet. And across the way, here is the bathroom. Just decent sized bathroom. Just a pretty typical bathroom nothing crazy and then here's the master bedroom this one is a little bigger a little brighter not all that different but it definitely seems nice it's got the ensuite bathroom which a lot of people love a walk-in closet actually pretty big walk-in closet in here built-in storage within the actual room that's pretty handy and this bathroom is actually really big i was surprised it's got double sinks and like two showers basically so there's a bath here and a shower the units in here weren't as cool as the line lofts in my opinion. The best thing about this place is the outside of the building. It's really nice. It's walking distance to a movie theater and a restaurant. And it's got some nice common areas that probably normally don't have caution tape. I'm like 90% sure they were just cleaning the pool, which is a good sign. There's also a good sized hot tub and just like an outdoor hangout spot with a fire pit that has a actually pretty cool view from it. This complex also has a gym and a business center, but that is pretty much it for the Westwood apartment. So those are both of the apartments. Keep in mind, we only looked at apartments. $5,000 could probably get you like a three bedroom house somewhere. It could get you like a house in the valley for sure. This is really only a couple examples of what it could get you. $5,000 will get you like a nice two bedroom in a luxury apartment or like a two or three bedroom townhouse. I would say that's pretty much in 2019 what it will get you. And it's hard to say if one is better than the other. It's like really up to everyone because some people just love East LA and some people love West LA. I mean, you kind of just have to go and figure it out for yourself. I love how the line lofts look though. Like I just love the design of them, like very cool. I mean, they're both cool places. It's just which one you like better. But I will say East LA, you can get more for your money. Like in Hollywood, Silver Lake, downtown like you generally do get a bit more then in like Santa Monica you're paying top dollar even Venice Playa Vista Marina del Rey yeah I used to live in Playa Vista and it got 
It got very expensive over there actually. There are some random spots on the west side that aren't as expensive. Like Sawtell is still super close to Santa Monica, but there are some cheaper apartments there. Like they're just like pockets of it where you can't really walk to stuff, but it's a lot cheaper and like still a good area. That's just helpful if like someone's watching this and actually thinking of moving to LA. If you're not, then it's kind of random, but whatever. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what other ones I should do like this. I'm thinking of doing a series where I just go all around America and show you guys like what you get in Texas versus LA versus New York. And I think it would be cool to show people's actual houses. So if anyone is a YouTuber and they want to show their house in a video of mine, random idea, I don't know, email me or DM me on Instagram because that could be cool to show like how people actually decorate it and stuff. Just random thought. Yeah, that could be cool and kind of a little collab. Okay, that is it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.